Okay, so um, first I wanted to go on to the, the question of, um, uh, I call it gaining visibility, you know, having to gain visibility on social media for various reasons, and then the fear of comments and attacks, and also the fear of getting sucked in, you know, people are going to be making comments and it may even take up a lot of mental space and get you sucked in from a place of peace and presence. I just want to tackle that aspect first. Um, and I also have experience of that, you know, because I, I have a YouTube, YouTube channel mm -hmm. and I have a book out there. And my, I've got, I think, about 150 videos out there and people have made all kinds of comments on them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've had a book out there. The book, actually, funny enough, everyone that has made a, a review on the book has always been good. But on the YouTube channel, mm -hmm. where it's, it's more public and you get more views, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, I did get some negative, uh, negative comments, mm -hmm. you know, which is to be expected with 150 videos. And, and some of them, like one of my videos, I think, has it got something like four or 5,000 hits? So yeah, you only get four or five thousand people watching a video. Like, not everyone's going to say like I like it. Mm. And some of them are well, not so nice. So, so, and but it's the same thing. It's like, also, you know, if you uh, enable, like, um, if you enable the comments, you can disable the comments, or you can enable. But if you enable comments and lo and people, there's a lot of interaction. They tend to rank the videos higher. Then when you disable the comments. So usually like social oh. media people, like YouTube have got a computer algorithm and if you've got a hundred comments, if your title is how to be peaceful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if you look at your you've got like a hundred comments like people have said, oh I like it, I don't like it, I like mm. it, you've got a hundred comments. And you've got another video how to be peaceful and it's got comments disabled, then the one with all those comments and interactions will go higher oh. than, than the really? other one. Yes. Oh. So, has a lot of videos with Muji has a lot of views with no They're disabled. Yeah. But he gets a lot of views anyway. Uh, yes, he's at the stage. You and, and, you, and you can get a lot of likes as well. Even, though they even when they disable uh -huh. the comments, you can still put the like up and down. Yes. Uh -huh. so, and, uh, so I did have to go through a process, you know. I think uh, with uh, some of the YouTube comments were, uh, uh, were attacks. Mm. Yeah, yeah, attacks, you know. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, so, so a few attacks. Mm. It's, and that's normal. It's normal. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I remember. Normal, yeah. Uh, it's, it's you're going against ego issues. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, yeah. I, yeah. Think, I have so much defenses against it. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to get, you're going to get some. Not everyone's going to love you. Mm. And mm. Mm. but okay. what was really, I think, with those things again, is the thing of transcending the attacks. Because mm. my ego got hooked in. Well, someone's written something, you know. So the ego gets hooked in. There's, yeah. there's still something in the ego that gets hooked in. You get a, there's a feeling mm. comes up. Yeah. You know, it's something like unfair, you know, it's like someone who doesn't even know you is making a judgment, yeah. you know, like you don't even know anything no. about anything, you know, just have a casual, a casual look and then suddenly say you're that type of person. Mm. So anyway, so the ego gets, it becomes personal and then, yeah. then uh, you have to transcend it. And I think, but I think it's really, really good to go through that process because you grow, mm. you grow a lot when you have to transcend the little attacks from people. I think you, you grow a lot more, actually. So when you get that visibility and you get all those attacks, the attacks are, you know, the, the people who say you're great, you don't really grow much from those mm. because it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, yeah. really, it doesn't do anything. Mm. Because you can have lots of people say you're good and that doesn't have any effect on anything. But when people say, make comments, in negative comments, then mm -hmm. that's the that's the place where you grow. And I think and it's how a do you transcend that? So you transcend it. You can transcend it. Uh, I do the Course in Miracles. I do the Observer. I do feel the feelings. Uh, plus, I'm also a member of twelve step groups. So that off offers me, and I used all of them. So you know, you can go to the Observer. What's observing? Uh, then you can, or if there was a feeling. You know, this become, this isn't like an unconscious because I'm doing it for like 18 years. Feel things. I don't have to consciously do it. Like suddenly, like you watch a comment and it's it's a you read the negative comment and there's a feeling of like something like uh, hurt or pain or something. It's an unconscious. I don't have to do it, but you just allow the feeling automatically to be there. So you just welcome the energy that arises on reading the comment, and you just let it be there. And you don't 
because I've been doing it for so many years, it's like an unconscious thing. So you're just allowing it to be fully experienced. You just mm. allow it to be fully experienced and fully experienced. You're not trying to get away from it. You're just trying to even welcome it. Mm. Like I want this energy to be fully experienced, mm. you know, and it's like there and it's a bit like a stuck energy for a while. And you just let it be there and then it starts to evaporate, you see. So it starts to evaporate, we can do the observer, but I also am a member of 12 step groups as well. So I can write a little step 10, mm -hmm. it's, it's what's called a spiritual inventory. So you say, oh, my ego's pride was affected, you know, and there was anger, you know, the person doesn't know me made a comment about what type of person I am, you see. So you just do that, but that's pride, so that's an ego thing, so I just need to let that go. Because, you know, so whatever. So, but just the process of writing it down and seeing how it affected the ego helps to release it. Or speaking with a fellow, mm. you know, and then they just listen with unconditional love and then, oh, it's not that big deal, you know. Mm. They, say, mm. they say something. You know, what, what really helped me was uh, reading other... Also, uh, you do a bit of... Re you, you're led by spirit to do the research. Like anyone who's got a lot of hits on something... Uh, who's, uh, who's uh, like a spiritual author or something, they, it tends to always be the same. There's always like, if you get a thousand hits, you know, a, a, you know if you get like a hundred likes, you probably will get something between four and seven dislikes. They all do, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, if you're a cartoli or whatever. Mm. There's the same ratio. It's usually like, if you're, usually the good ones, like 10, you know, 100 good positives to about four to seven, you know, doesn't matter who you see. So it's just, it's just like, that's just what happens out there, you know. And, and what, what brought a lot of solace uh, was also reading. You read the dislikes from famous authors. Mm. This is, it's, it's, I won't say yeah. on camera, but you just laugh. You know, like people will go on there. I won't oh, say yes. one of them. But you know, they come up with the most hilarious comments about, about the things. And you, but you also see it from another perspective. Like, normal people don't take notice of the nutcases. Because I'm reading this, and, and you, know, you know the author, and you know this is a good author, and they're writing this totally strange stuff. And it's not, it's not, you know, but when you first take it, you might think, like, everyone's going to read that and take it seriously, or something like mm. that. <laughs> Which is like, but, uh, but people who, most people like it, and these are just people who are just a bit sort of, Probably get more dislikes. <laughs> They're probably very nice people with, with some issues. But, you know. <laughs> I've done that. So, so anyway, God bless them. Yeah, you're um, going to get more dislikes, definitely. <laughs> I don't think they've got this far. They usually do the first two yeah, minutes. That's right, yeah. They do the first two minutes. Yeah. And right. they, don't, they don't bother to actually do a lot of videos. But now you grow. You grow. I think it, it's a thing of, I think it's a really good process. Uh, I think it's, it's a worthwhile process to be able to become, like my book's called Bulletproof Peace. And to become bulletproof, you know, you welcome the attacks. Because you welcome the attacks so you can transcend them. Mm. So that when you go out into the world, you, you start to become immune to those type of attacks, you see. And that's a great... Um, that's a great feeling. So, you can, you know, one can disable, but I think uh, I did have to work through the attacks. I had to transcend them. But I think it, it's, I'm happy I went through the process. Mm. I'm very happy I went through the process because you become, become more and more immune. Mm. And it's like you check, oh, there's another thing, and then you notice you didn't react to it. Mm. And that's such a lovely feeling. It's like, oh, I've transcended that. It yeah. doesn't, doesn't affect me. It's a beautiful. And this thing of like, whatever happens in the world, it can never hook you in. You become unhookable. So that's, I think that's a worthwhile thing, because otherwise it's like, a, you know, it's a dangerous, you know, you're always in fear of the thing. But yes, it is a process. Um, but I don't think it matters either way, yeah. yeah.